the first thing you need of course is water I like to use still water rose water this one is actually rose water and glycerin mix um, and it's by heritage store so I add some of that <laughs> using this aloe vera juice and I get this from Walmart in the pharmacy section I keep it refrigerated and it lasts me a long time next I add an oil I always go for coconut oil and also my conditioner which I'm using the Eden Body Works um, peppermint tea tree um, conditioner and I like this one because it already has some amazing ingredients in here which are of course the peppermint and the tea tree oil important to use a good conditioner a lot of people like to use you know just a cheap old conditioner in their spritz because of course they um, want to get rid of it and they want to use it you know what I mean for a good purpose but it's not a good idea to use cheap conditioners because most likely a, a cheap conditioner is gonna have some really <laughs> bad ingredients and y'all, I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of these ingredients. Um, but if your conditioner has any of these listed ingredients, then it's not a good idea to use it um, as the conditioner for your spritz. Sorry if I'm like, <laughs> I'm like distracted because I'm trying to be careful with my hair and try to remember what I wanted to talk about. But I know you guys miss me doing natural hair videos. I haven't been doing them because as you guys know, I have been keeping my hair tucked away. And as you can see, it's for a good reason. My hair has grown a lot. Look at that. My hair has grown a lot. Um, because I've been wearing wigs. I've just been keeping my hair really moisturized. And... Um, twisting it up every time um, after I wash or every time after I moisturize which I've been moisturizing pretty much every day when I talk about um, DIY spritzes and detangling um, concoctions are one is it safe to even use a regular everyday conditioner as a leave-in conditioner or even in a detangling spritz because we're doing it in this detangling concoction um, it, it should not have any negative effects on your hair you should definitely have hydrated moisturized conditioned hair and I've also been um, cutting a lot. I've been cutting my hair a lot, you guys, because I'm still trying to get all the red out. I still have, the ends of my hair are still red. It's crazy. Even after I dyed it black, the red just keeps popping back out. And I'm not going to dye it again. I'm tired of dyeing my hair. I'm trying to keep it free of dye. The other question people have is how long can you keep this concoction? Um, you can keep this in my opinion, but I've read that you should only keep it for five to seven days. But honestly, you guys, I've kept mine for like 14 days for two weeks. 
that's usually how long I keep mine. I keep it in the refrigerator. And the awesome thing is, is when you keep this in the refrigerator, of course it gets cold. And as you guys know, using cold water on your hair, it really shocks the hair cuticle um, closed. It helps it lay flat. So that basically means you will have less frizzies. Um, so that's really good. And closing that cuticle also means that your hair um, will like definitely seal in the moisture, you know? Um, so I think that's also a good thing to have this chilled. At this point, I would let my hair dry and then I would style on damp or dry hair. I hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.